What up gamers, it's Noon here, back with episode 15 of our campaign as the Command, and we are uh, romping through our the lands of our former allies, Bian Feng. Um, let's, uh, let's get to it. I think I'm going to make this episode a little longer uh, than the last ones, because uh, I realized that um, <laughs> this is going to be a long campaign, so I'd rather do it in uh, f slightly fewer episodes. Um, but we'll see how we go. Okay, so make a manufactory, manpower for school or academy. Do I have any missions that pertain to this stuff? No, uh, except I do need to make stolen gem like me, so I might get started on that. Um, mithril, we don't have any mithril. Production 10, fort building. Okay, it looks like there's nothing here very specifically relevant. So, what's going to be the easiest and best? Is there anyone here that we want to please? I guess Wolf Command, but kind of whatever. Manufactory is also the most expensive. Can we build a manufactory here? We can. It is on grain, which kind of sucks. These guys want manpower. For prestige. Uh, it's in hills, that's going to be expensive. Or we'll build a school or academy here. Well, it's going to be that one. Get a free base tax. Cheap building. Let's just start that now. School. And... Who was it that we need to please? Stolen gem. So let's improve with these guys. What's our tech situation here? Alright, we're ahead of time on mill. We'll just wait till next year to take it. We don't need it for this war. And we can take all of our ideas, but we're close to tech for all of them, so we're going to leave that. Is there anything else here? Parliament, we'll just let them pick it. We've got loans. I guess I'll just repay that now. Might as well. And decisions. We can make our dudes happy, which we will not be doing. Um... I guess I'd like you to stick around with our other army just in case, though I'm pretty sure all of their troops are down here. Whoop. Big old lag there. Uh, we have a province here that we could take. Alright, stolen gem. Oh, we are actually at war with them. I thought they were somehow at war with someone else, but that is not possible. I think we can also do some exploring here, which is nice. Uh, innovativeness for prestige. Yeah, let's do it. Shi Young wants peace. We don't have any claims down there. Um, but they are helping our war score. Can I pillage? No. I could vassalize them, but I don't really want to. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. This is our good siege general. So why don't you come up and sort this stuff out? And where are you going? You're just chilling. All right. Oh, this is our really good siege general. All right. So we have claims on all of this. What do we need for the missions? We need... Scroll all the way up again. Um, Bian Fang. And... 12 provinces. Alright. And so this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Is there any trade stuff we want to be aware of yet? Yeah, you? Um... I <laughs> I know Bordegor is unpopular with some people, but uh, personally, I love it. Um, there's something very delightful about splitting them across two, two areas that I just really enjoy. Alright, something like that. I guess I could sue these guys out. Sure, why not? All your money. War reps. And trade power and 
No. You can get one and all. That's fine. Yeah, so that does reduce our war score slightly. Can we sue these guys out? No. And... Is this our six siege? No, this is our five siege. Um... How many artillery do we have? Okay, only five. Well, come on. Do these ones. Alright. You can't for some reason. This is our six siege guy. I guess you should come up here. I, I can't be bothered. Whatever. We're going to win this war quickly enough anyway. Let's take admin tech and military tech. Slightly ahead of time, but it's fine. Yep. Okay, we've won the siege. How close are we to this peace deal? Minus 50. Pretty far. Right. Yeah, whatever, you can do that. Uh, okay, we do have a 22 stack down here. Can take that Diplo tech, thank you, let's do that. Hooray, colonial range, just what we needed. Heavy sarcasm. Come on down. This is urban, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so we'll crush him. Plus, I think we're, yeah, two techs ahead. We'll be right. We're standing on a fort for some reason. Peace offer from Sakani. Who's that? I guess it's these guys. Um. Pillage is nothing. Can we get steer trade, trade power, and the tiniest little dollop of cash? That might actually be a problem for our next campaign now that I think about it. Is this going to stack wipe? They might not have anywhere to retreat. Alright. It's unfortunate, but no biggie. Okay, they are retreating somewhere. Okay, literally next door. That's a stack wipe. Now we're at 94%. Only minus 4. Alright, we're getting close. Uh, Alright, you, uh, you pack up and come home. You... Come up and help explore. You can come home as well. Blessed by Cowbow. While Hales is known for its focus on good stewardship and the necessity of a strong and honorable bureaucracy, humans are still humans. They can and will sometimes be corrupt or greedy, whether due to debts to pay or simply because they crave more and more. The result is the same. The state loses money and standing. However, sometimes we receive help in fighting the eternal sickness called corruption, and it comes from the divine, no less. Our administration in Yantragitana... was that? Okay, down here, sure. And Trigatana. Um Was shocked when the local governor disappeared without a trace. Initially, we suspected that he took off with the local treasury, but the opposite appears to be true. When the new governor inspected the office, he discovered a secret small room filled with hoarded treasure. It seems that the former governor was not acting alone, as within the small room there was a strange shrine with offerings to Cao Bao, a spirit known to possess people who pray for debt relief and force them, to take in, uh, force them into becoming treasure hoarders. Sadly, what people do not realize is that Cow Bao takes what it wants randomly, and sometimes it is the literal life of the person who called upon it in the first place, as seems to have happened with the governor. All that remains is the question of what to do with the remaining treasury. So we can take some money, or we can take some base tax. We're doing fine for money, and this is a jungle, so base tax is expensive. Let's do that one. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. 
up, come on down. Why are we in charge? Okay, and that's 99%. Let's, uh, let's take that. What if we don't take any money? Can we take any more provinces? No. Um, these guys might honestly be a useful vassal, but we can't vassalize them. We can pillage for the teensiest little bit of aggressive expansion. Won't steer trade. Yeah, whatever. Let's take the money now. Okay. Great. Deploy power for monstrosity. Getting close, I think. 18? Yeah. Oh, who bow? I didn't realize they were in the war. Well, let's take that. Full annex. Uh, it's occupied by Ajakuma. Sure, whatever. That's uh, that's fine. They can have it. I'm pretty sure that we're, that's fine for our missions. And I don't think there's anything we can do about it either. Non-tributary subjects. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh no, a coalition is forming. I think we're now getting to the point where we're strong enough that, like, it, it literally doesn't matter if we get coalitioned. Um, you come on back. You get somewhere you can stand comfortably. Uh, taking attrition. Uh, you come on home. Oh, that's a lot of notifications. Mission fulfilled. By the throat. Ah, oh, we needed Shizhang as well. I didn't read it close enough. Crap. Yeah, damnation. That's almost worth saves coming for. To finish this off. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm sorry. I know I've done this uh, recently, and it's uh, it's poor form in a hardcore campaign. But, um... Uh, <laughs> That's deeply irritating, and uh, I hate being deeply irritated. All right, I'll be I'll be back in just one sec. Alrighty, let's uh, let's finish this war off for the first time. Definitely no bullshit going on here. Why would you even suggest that I save scummed? That's crazy. Taking Shishen. Uh, let's also check these areas so that we can give it to our vassal. I got this one. Yeah. Uh, great. Just gonna, yeah, so we've got Bianfang. We need Bianfang, Ji Cheng, Lam Wun. Where's Lam Wun? Lam Wun. Okay. We need that one. Bianfang, Jin Cheng, Lam Wen, and Xi Cheng. And we need 12 provinces in any of these areas. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And let's just take this whole area. And let's take this one too. Get that nice border gore in. God, I, I really hope this is, <laughs> is good enough. I do not want to save scum this again. Nice. Okay. By the throat. The siege of Bianfang has succeeded and the city is now firmly under our control. This has greatly weakened the warlord state of Bianfang and renders all of the great cities of the Yan vulnerable to our forces. Bianfang will serve as a key military base in our conquests of Upper Yanshen. Additionally, it seems as though the warlord of Bianfeng sought to unify the Yanshan, uh, Yanshan under their banner. With the city in our hands, the plans, intelligence, and personnel that were being gathered for this can be repurposed to fit our ambitions in Yanshan. Alright, 10 legitimacy and some monarch power. The superior drill, so this is the one that we save scum for. The armies of Bianfeng possess much greater organization and cohesion than any of the disorganized rabble we have faced so far. I don't know if that's true. They fought with a unity and ferocity that approaches the standards of a true hobgoblin kikun. 
Their commitment to order is admirable, but in the end they were unable to match the absolute discipline shown by our troops. While logistics and tactics were key in our triumph over Bian Fang, we ultimately possessed the superior drill. We have slain the White Dragon, with their fall, all the realms down the Yana opened the Great Command. So we lose exemplary leadership. Exemplary leadership. Five morale, one legitimacy, and uh, state uh, equilibrium. And we get better than that. Great. Hooray. Okay, and once again, we have only one valid rival. I think you can stop with Thunderfist now. Actually, speaking of Thunderfist, uh, someone in the comments a little while ago, it was Laughing Dragon, uh, pointed out that basically the the point of these resettle things is to like use them to uh, core shit up. We are minus 14 on Diplo power. Um, and how much is it going to cost? Quite a bit. Plus we're way over our governing cap. So... I actually think we're going to focus on Diplo, which seems kind of weird for um, the command, but that's fine. I'm going to leave all of this um, uncored, I think. Yeah, let's let's leave it all. Um, and we can seize without anyone getting mad, so let's do that. And we are building our school here. Great. Come down here. Come down here. You on your way home, you are not. Alrighty. Let's... Oh, where was that? Okay, there. Our, our guys will deal with that. Okay, Mo Huang has... Rivaled. Yep, yep. Military coalitions. These things happen. Uh, I'm really not worried about it. Oh, I do have a looming disaster. We need enough Karashi to keep the mages suppressed. Okay. It's actually not the worst disaster, though I assume that there are some, um... What's it called? Uh, worse effects. Um, so we need more Karashi supply. So this place needs a Karashi fo forge and a workshop and... Base production eight, but we are out of diplo power, so that is uh, that's a bit of a problem. All right, well, I guess we'll uh, just try and deal with it, and we are going to set our guy to outrage countries. Our guy, you know what I mean, our diplomat, um, simply because uh, it will help reduce this coalition. Which again, I'm I'm not super worried about um so it's fine um okay rebels all right we've completed three uh i think these missions reset when we get the next uh thing from our estates and you know what we are actually going to drill i'm going to take my six siege guy off um because i don't want him to die. I do have a lot of rebels. Um, but I think I'm just going to deal with it. Is it worth waiting another 10 months or so to get this Diplo power? I think it is. It's going to help our Karashi situation. Yeah, I think so. Can we get another general? We can. Then let us do that. Wow, our army professionalism is good. Also, what's our force limit? Uh, we can get four more. Uh, I don't think I'll bother with that right now. Okay, where are these rebels coming? 70, 70, 80 in Lam 1. Alright, I guess we'll stop. Uh, I, I guess we won't actually drill anywhere. Uh, maybe we'll leave these guys on. So I think, bah, I'll leave the army myself. Uh, lead, not leave, that, that wouldn't help. Our army tradition is very low, actually. 
Yeah, I'm glad I did that in time. Magistrate to resign. That is not a big deal. I mean, it is quite annoying. Lose 25 Diplo power, I have to do it. All of this overextension and stuff is, is less important. Um, okie dokie. Hmm. I wonder... This is Territorial Core. I'm just thinking if it's worth, like, coring some of these. I think this one... Yeah, it's in this other state. So let's core that one. Probably should have done that before. That's fine. And then the rest we are going to give to our vassals when we hit 100, if that ever happens. Piano Fang Separatists. That'll happen. Um. Alright, so we just need one more Jade Mines event. We did get one and I clicked the wrong button, because I'm silly. That one we're going to have to wait. Okay, we're converting, that's fine. Digging in. We need four more forts in this region. So let's have a look at our simple terrain thing, drylands. I don't know if there's anywhere actually good. Urban has a fort, that's got a fort. Alright, so I guess we're just going to pop them kind of wherever in that case. One, is this in the right region? Not continent, region, yes it is. Give you a fort. Uh, let's give... Yeah, these are woods. They've got a fort already, though. Urban fort. Hills. Sure, you can have a fort, even though it's not very helpful. You can have a fort. I think that's enough. Four forts. Yep, that'll be right. Okay, a lot of unrest going on. Okay, so now we get to decide on our next command. Uh, our next mission. So we can do one down here. Do one over here, and do one up this way. This one is going to be harder because of our truces. That's also going to be hard because of our truces. Let's go with uh, Wolf Command. We haven't fought in this direction yet. I don't think the co like the coalition is everywhere, so we can't really do anything about that one way or the other. Okay. Come on down. And actually, shit. You should have stopped drilling a minute ago. Uh, Black Step wants our maps. Sure, I don't see any disadvantage to that. Jade tensions by minus one. Uh, 600 crowns for 50 admin. It's a lot of money for 50 admin. I guess I'm going to do it. I'm just going to spend the admin. We can take our military idea, and I think that's a good idea because we're way off the tech. So, that gives us, uh, what does it give us? Land force limit modifier and special unit cost, that's fine. And we get our hobgoblin idea called honorable service. Honor is a core pillar of our culture, and honor is kept through loyalty. No good hobgoblin would even consider betraying their duty and their family to, and to their family and command and lose their honor. A hobgoblin without honor loses their family, their position, their very place in society. They are removed from all the things that give meaning to life and thus often end up with two options, suicide or exile. Suicide is the preferred choice for those who have dishonored themselves, but such is the weight of our honor. No secrets are spilled. For foreign spy detection, one of my least uh, enjoyed buffs in the game. TBQH. I got those guys. Come on back. Uh... Somewhere you can stand safely. I'll just wait for one more month tick, tick before I do this. Uh, don't we have a... All oh, right, uh, less than one. All right, so we need one more. Increase of Hari Mari. Sure, whatever. That's a that's C. I I don't think that's important. Like, I think we haven't uh, caught it yet, so that should be okay. Could really use some more manpower. Maybe I will build some barrackses. Are there any missions that need barrackses? You need forts. You 
Need farm estates. You need loyalty. Barracks, 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 no barrackses. Or at least not for a long time. These ones need a bunch of temples. These need forts. Supply depot. We can do that later. All right, I'm just gonna build them. Just gonna build them where they're efficient. Okay, and we don't really have many very good ones. So I guess I'll just do a couple. Charge in, you're gonna be there, all right. Well. Okay, we're so close. Two more months. How are we doing here? Yeah, still pretty far away. Okay. No, you just keep keep on doing it yourself. I don't want to ruin it on all of these different guys. Uh, can you stand here? Yes. Okay, 150. It might actually cost us more than that, but that is okay. So, let us move, I guess, Blood Song. Don't think it super matters. And. Do we want you in Bian Yuan, Bian Fang, or Xiang Shun? I don't think it really matters. Let's put him in Xiang Shun, I guess. Yeah, that cost quite a lot more. Um, and. We are going to grant them Hella Provinces. You can have that one. You can have... Oh, nope. Plot song. Grant Province. You can have... Is that Shizhang? Yeah. Shizhang. You can have Shaolin. gonna make them a lot more expensive to move next time but um uh, that would cause them to become overextended yeah that's literally my idea dude three percent didn't think I caught any of this just three Bianca gang. all right yeah we'll give them that one as well if we can all right and we call the rest. We are still over our limit here. We're already an empire, which is pretty irritating, but it's gonna be hard to do anything about that. Um, I guess we'll build some courthouses. It'll do a little bit. Come on down. You come on over here. What is up with our parliament? Maintenance and attrition. All right. Okay. Slowly dealing with it. So let's have a look at our new expansionist missions. We need one province here. We need to take... Togyasa. We need Sarasung. We need those guys. We need these guys. Alright, so this might take a couple of wars. It's actually not that many provinces. Um, they are in the coalition. These guys are not in the coalition. Okay, but the coalition would end up joining. Wait, are they in the coalition? No, that's weird. Oh, they're they're a vassal of Denizhirange. So, what kind of numbers are we looking at here? I mean, it is significantly more than us, but not that much more significantly. We are ahead in Miltech on a lot of it. Okay. 
Okay, general died, that is okay. I guess I could move my other dudes as well, but um, that's gonna cost, and I'm already coring that stuff up. Yeah, so that won't help. Um, so yes, I need my Diplotech so I can get the Karashi process going. 57, ugh. All right. Get an idea, admin. We're fine for admin, so we'll take the core creation cost. Would it be nice to have that a minute ago? Okay, we're not going to pay any diplo tech for that. I uh, mean, diplo points rather. I guess it's kind of like paying diplo tech, though the tech is not the thing that we're worried about. Okay. You come up here. Is there somewhere you can stand safely? I don't know if you guys can hear my neighbor walking past. May everyone say hello. And you guys are there. That'll be fine. Hmm. <laughs> what perfidiousness. Okay, there's subjects. Okay, we can take one. We could state this, but it'll overextend us more. It'll put us further over our governing cap, rather. What is that current Karashi supply? Two. That's weird. I feel like... That's fine. Up to 800 development. Oh, development, right. Okay, medium decrease of monstrosity, that's awesome. Where do we see our current development? It's somewhere. I guess we can look here. Ah, 1500, yes, okay, so quite a bit more. Um, but the next one will cover us. All right, skill two, half price guy. Um, we actually want to improve relations, probably. Trade efficiency is fine, but it's not that useful. I think I also want the manpower guy. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's fine. Take some points. All right, Shenzhou C. I guess we're just gonna have to do it. Raw. Yeah, come on. When does this parliament thing run out? 36. Two more years. It's not going to help. Um, now we need the Diplo power, so let's just give it to Wolf Command. Doesn't really matter. If you guys could pop, that would be great. Um... We don't really need the money. Yeah, let's take the admin points. We're nearly done with this one. We need grain provinces with farm estates. Uh, okay, that sounds like a them problem. All right, so let's start doing that. Where are our grain provinces? You... Okay, never mind. <laughs> Take it all back. We will not start doing that. Um... Hmm. I'm interested in... Oh, shit. What? Thunderfist. Literally, what are you doing? You're almost entirely covered up. All right, digging in. In truth, no matter how brutal or bloody the campaign, conquest only marks the beginning of the war that must be waged to rule a territory. What remains is the long haul of eliminating rebels, responding to unrest, and pacifying the land. The anchors of such warfare are well-constructed and well-readied fort, well forts, a base for responding to any disturbances. And just as we ensure our armies are well-equipped, we must ensure our forts are well-manned. So we get, uh, 20 base manpower. Cool. That's pretty good, though it does increase our development, uh, somewhat unhelpfully. Alright, yep, so we need some money for that. 
This guy needs 10 production, which it has. And a workshop or counting house, which it has. Yep. And needs a manufactory, which it does not have. All right. Jeez, who are these guys? They're particularists, all right. Okay. Institution spread is interesting. Prestigious conversions is also okay. How are we going with our conversion situation? Yeah, like we're slowly doing it. Let's take institution spread. We uh, actually, when's the next one coming? Oh, it's here. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm glad I discovered that. Wait, no, 1550. Yeah, it's not here yet. All right, all right, good, good, good. What's the institution situation around? Yeah, they're slowly getting it, um, but that is good for us that um, they, they don't have it yet. Vanraya, uh, Vanyara, protector of quack salvers. I think we've had this one before. Um, yep. Well, we don't get any effects from it. Uh, that's one of those spirits. Okay, we're at forty-seven percent here. We can do you again. Just need like another eighty production. I mean, another eighty diplo or something like that. Oops. Yeah, did that one. I could set up uh, autonomous rebel suppression. I've never really been sure how that works. Um, Crushy Forge workshop. Yep. I've got all of that. Large decrease of monstrosity. Cheap skill three guy and minus one stab is unfortunate. I think I'm just going to pay for that stability up. Why not? Okay, I guess we'll go and help with this one. Uh, let's send you, actually. These guys could just pop already. That would be great. Oh, yay. Azjakuma sent us 14 bucks. Thanks, guys. Super helpful. Super duper helpful. That's what we're missing right now is money. It's not all of our other things. Okay, that's not occupied. That's good. And they have a troop. That is also good. Seven. One more. So close. Also, how are we doing with uh, this guy with the um, Jay's mind tensions? Okay. Just one more. Come on back down. These guys are actually getting quite a bit bigger. Yeah, 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 good seats in Parliament, that's fine. Okay, and I think we can build a thingy now. Oh, no debate, okay. Advisor costs, oops, autonomy change, reform progress, dev cost reduction. Government reform progress might be quite nice, actually. We've had a, a disadvantage with that because of our monstrousness. Culture conversion, missionary guy, I guess. Unrest, whatever, diplomats, eh, not that helpful right now. I think we'll take the advisor costs. Get some inflation, you know, some corruption. Don't want to spend Diplo on it. Uh, guess we can do autonomy. Lose some professionalism, sure. Does this mean we can promote our Diplo guy? I guess maybe we don't need to now. All right, finally. S number eight, which gets us the Karashi uh, process. 
As the command has grown, more and more shamans live under our rule. To control them, more and more Karashi links have had to be forged. Extensive surveying of the Demon Hills has proved that there is just not enough untreated Karashi in the Demon Hills for the amount of shamans needing chains. The only report to us that a ginormous deposit of Temarji, their term for raw Karashi, exists to the south, between the lands of Yanshen and Onegia. It's imperative that this area is brought under our control and that we construct Karashi forges so that we can increase production. The supply of Karashi will never be a problem again, but before that, before all that, all we need to master is the process of creating the substance. Okay. My fellow scholars and I are of the combined uh, of the combined commands have gathered in Junshu Sea along with some Oni experts to discuss the details of how to increase Karashi production. The hostages we've taken in Cyrilovan will ensure their good behavior. It has been decided that the veterans of the command armies, those with no shamanistic affliction, those too old or infirm to be of, uh, any more, uh, of use anymore on the battlefield, will be taught the proper way to turn Te Maji into Karashi. This will work, but I believe that the process can still be improved in some ways. Even with these new ritualists, the process is still quite slow. Further research into the material is needed. I will keep you updated, Grand Marshal. Okay, that doesn't immediately solve our problem, which is very unfortunate. And you know what? I think we're just going to keep building these rather than the um, uh, stuff that we need for the missions. We just really need to get our governing capacity under control. So what do we need for this one? Okay, we need Kurashi Supply 5. Curious. We'll bring a peace bringer. I just don't want to spend the, the points that I need to initiate that. Um... Get a new idea. It's military. We're 80% off, so let's take it. Discipline plus five. That's awesome. And we also get recover army morale speed plus 10%. That is okay. I don't think there's anything we can really do other than these missions and events um, about the Karashi, unfortunately. Hmm... Is it now worth saving up for these manufactories that we need? I think we also need to build schools. Is that right? So that needs manufactories. This needs a manufactory. That's pretty good. I'll probably do that one. All right, these guys are all happy, so we can seize land. How's this situation going? Um, sure, that is actually one that we need, but that's fine. Uh, opinion for loyalty, uh, for legitimacy. Let's just do this one, doesn't really matter. Okay, we did actually lose that claim. Uh, for an earlier one when we did that, the claim didn't disappear, um, which is kind of unfortunate. Okay, jean C is not in the coalition. Who are your allies, jean Lucy? These guys, not much help. Who are your allies? Okay, not much help. Who are your allies? Also not much help. Um, like, really, we would love to do this all in one fell swoop. Who's in this coalition? I guess we can do it this way. It's probably easier. These guys have 27k. We are improving with them. These guys have 8k, so it don't really matter. It's really Danila Raj that's the issue, and we're going to have to take them on sooner or later. What's our force limit? We can afford quite a few more dudes. So let's start with five cannons here. And... Do we have a template? Yes, we do. 16-4. Uh, well, let's delete that one and get a new one. What are we operating on here? 18-4-10. That sounds about right. 18-4. Let's go 5. Something like that. How much is that? 36. Okay. What's our combat width? 27. I don't really know how to optimize that, uh, so... Oh, we need 600 gold. Yeah, yeah, that checks out. Check. 
Jade mine tensions by minus one. It's on one, I'm pretty sure. Let me just... It's currently at one. Great. So that should give us this mission. Warbringer, Peacebringer. With the tensions between our goblin slave states abating, it's time to formally and properly end their rivalry and prepare them for the future. A future where they will govern the Jade Mines. Let us bind them together through marriage. So, they get married. Great. And then we get the Jade March. With the Jade Mines emptying, we leave behind a lot of, our, uh, a lot of land. Uh, it is time for Black Step and Stolen Gem to move in, but in order to properly govern it, we must unite them into one country, a march that will administer the Jade Mines in our name. The Jade March. Okay, so they give one single territory, give it control over the jade mines, and we get money and reinforce costs. Great. Nice. Oh, and it actually... Oh, shit. It reduces... <laughs> That's so good. That's so good. It reduces our governing capacity. You can't believe how happy that makes me. Does that mean... Yes. Okay, we're under our dev cap. Wait, that's weird. Because we're still over that level of development. Oh, does this include our, our subjects? Yeah, okay, so 1,200. All right. Great. Great. It's stating time. It's just these two. All right, let's do it. Woo! That is delightful. Okay, nice. And that fully ends. That's uh, that's really good. Okay, we did it. We did it, everybody. High fives all around. All right, that seems like a good place to end this episode. Uh, I don't really care about Diplo Rep. Or Unrest. 46. 10 years. Are we going to go to war in 10 years? Yeah, probably. Let's do it. We've got plenty of military power. All right, going to end the episode there. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, drop a like if you feel like it. Uh, otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video.